Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make and care for your new worms and how to turn them into a pupil. Yes, um, so this is my box of those new worms who can't really turn into pupa. Yeah, so it is. Yeah. So, um, yes, there's one pupa there because I didn't know it didn't turn into a pupa for long. So I feed them carrots because carrots can last longer. So there are a few below and I put some obstacles and they like to go below. You see I have super ones. That's my new ones. Yes, um guys. Yeah you can see. Okay. So just put them back. Okay. okay. Now you see? I actually don't like people that they can go anywhere they can. <laughs> Cute. So this okay, what you're gonna need is to put some oatmeal and sprinkle them around and some obstacles for them to hide below. Yes, and some carrots. Yeah, of course the main thing is the meal. Come on. So you can put them in a shoe box, a drawer or anything, but usually I put them in a shoe box. This is my pupa. This is my pupa. Yes. Pupa box. Well, the pupa actually moves, but I'm not going to show you how it moves. Okay, so look at this video. I was watching. TV, yeah. So you can play if you're a viewer anyway. And I'm trying to breed them. So if they are beetle, you put them together. But usually you can buy super ones as I prefer them more than viewers. But super ones do buy a little. Yeah, if you find any um, geckos, leopard geckos especially, could you please tell me? about it yeah and then so I could like because I really wanted leopard geckos because my mom doesn't like the new room so I can feed them come on come on die okay so they like the darkness so you usually close them up yep this is my video please subscribe and yeah thanks guys